Welcome to the Bullish Talks podcast, and this is what we're interested in today, Friday the 2nd of August 2024. In a move stirring concerns across the city, Chancellor Rachel Reeves has indicated a probable increase in capital gains tax, CGT, for her upcoming October budget. This shift is part of an effort to address what Reeves identified as a £22 billion shortfall in the UK's finances. While Labour has maintained a stance on retaining current rates for income tax, national insurance and VAT, they've conspicuously not commented on CGT rates. This silence has ignited fears among entrepreneurs and business leaders who view any potential increase as a deterrent to investment and innovation within the UK. According to Alastair Haynes from Aquis Exchange, such a decision could lead entrepreneurs to seek lower tax regions for their ventures, potentially reducing government tax revenue in the process. Speculation abounds that the Treasury might align CGT rates with those of income tax, which currently peak at 45%. This alignment could reportedly generate up to £16.7 billion, but not without consequences. Business leaders argue that these changes could severely impact the drive to establish and sell businesses within the UK. Tina McKenzie from the Federation of Small Businesses regards such a hike as counterintuitive to growth, particularly for small enterprises. Miles Selick of the City UK echoed this sentiment, pointing out that these rate adjustments might not convert immediately into increased tax revenue and urged that any adjustments consider the broader impact on the UK's attractiveness for business and investment. Moreover, outspoken voices like those from FTSE 250 wealth manager Quilter caution that stringent CGT rates might especially disrupt high-stakes sectors like private equity and venture capital, which rely heavily on favourable investment environments. In addition, there's a juxtaposition within governmental policies as there's advocacy for stock market stimulation running parallel to discussions on tax hikes. Entrepreneurs face mixed signals, incentives on one hand and potential financial disincentives, not just from taxes, but also from issues such as crime rates, regulatory overreach, and the UK's challenging weather on the other. Reeves has also proposed increasing rates on fund managers' personal profits, reinforcing a tough stance on fiscal reform that the Chancellor believes is essential to stabilising the UK's economic foundation. Despite this, the concern lingers that such fiscal strategies may, while filling immediate fiscal voids, undermine long-term economic vitality by hampering entrepreneurial spirit and investment flows. That's all for today from the Bullish Talks podcast. Do hit subscribe for daily news and check out asmx.network to join our community for free. See you there.